Oh, this game is called Tichu, not Tichu, even though it's German, but it's the Swiss way. So, Tichu, uh, the game is basically about uh, saying that you're going to win and then winning. So we play in partners, which means that um, four players play, usually. I only know the rules for four, so I'm going to explain the rules for four. And you're together with the person in front of you, uh, like across from you. So I'm together with her, and you two are together. Now, the way you play is, you have to finish your cards first. If you think you're going to finish your cards first, then you say Tichu, and then from that point on, most of the idea of the game is that your partner will help you finish first, and the others will try to avoid that you finish first. Mm -hmm. So if I say Tichu, you two will try to make me lose, and she will try to make me win. Mm -hmm. Now if she wins, finishes her cards first, that actually means that we lost as a team. Really? She has to be careful that I win first. Mm. Yeah. Right. Now, other than that, there's a specific amount of points that you win mm -hmm. if you say Tichu. <laughs> but I'm just going to avoid talking about the points because that's the main idea of the game. The points is, I can explain at the end very shortly, okay. but the idea is if you say Tichu, then you want to win and the others want you to lose. Now, another thing is that, so you can basically wait to say Tichu until you put the first card down. So if you, if you pass, for example, then you, don't, you can still not say Tichu. But as soon as you played the first card in the game and you didn't say Tichu, that means you're not going to say Tichu this round. So you just have to look who played already and who didn't say Tichu yet, and that's it. How do you get rid of your cards? So we all get a bunch of cards, and in general, the person that starts is the person that decides what pattern we're going to play. So for example, if I start with a singles pattern, which means that I start like with a four, which is just one card, everybody else also has to play one card. So mm -hmm. you could play, for example, a six mm -hmm. or a nine. It always has to be higher, yes. not the mm -hmm. same, higher. And it always has to be the same pattern. Mm -hmm. So this is one pattern, singles. If I play doubles pattern, then you have to play a double. So you have to play double. For example, you can play a double eight. You can't play a single, you, can, you have to play a double, and you can't, if I play a single, you can't play a double on a single. Mm -hmm. Now, before I tell you all the patterns, I'll show you how one round could look like. Let's say I play double four, you play double eight, you play double queen. queen. Now, you don't have anything better than double queen, so you pass. Mm. Now it's my turn. Now, I could play a double king, mm -hmm. but my partner played the double queen, mm -hmm. right? So it's better if I pass. If you now pass as well, because you don't have a double king or a double ace, then everybody passed, and she wins these cards, mm -hmm. puts them here to the side, and then she plays something new, a new pattern, if she wants. Okay. That's how the game works. That's why... Mm -hmm. If I play a double king now, I wasted it because mm -hmm. if you pass, then mm -hmm. she gets the cards and she gets to start. Mm -hmm. But if I play a double king on a double queen, it's like I'm fighting against my partner and then mm -hmm. everybody passes and then I win and I get to start. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it makes sense. Let's say I said I'm going to win and I play the double king and I get this and then I play my last card. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense to play against because I want to win first. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it makes sense, but usually not. Mm -hmm. Now that's how you play around with the passing that's the important thing who, who passed who do you think can play who do you think can't play did everyone if everyone passed then you get to start now the other patterns that exist are a bit complicated but I'm just gonna go over them really quick but throughout the game we're gonna explain them again and again mm -hmm. so we have the single pattern right we said that then we have the double pattern mm -hmm. then we have the triple pattern 
help me out with the four here. Mm -hmm. Then we have the triple pattern. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, a triple and a pair, which is a full house. Mm -hmm. And a triple and a pair means that you have to go higher than the triple, not higher than the pair. So for example, if I play three fours and two twos, uh, or two threes, yeah, then someone else can just play uh, three kings, mm -hmm. but two twos. Mm -hmm. It can be lower than the double, but it has to be higher than the triple. Mm -hmm. All right. oh. That's the triple, that's the full house. Mm -hmm. Then we have a weird one, which is a f consecutive pairs. Mm -hmm. So I could play double three and double four. Mm -hmm. I cannot play double three, double eight, but I can play double three, double four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if someone else has a consecutive pair, for example, um, pair seven and pair of eights, mm -hmm. then they could also play it. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't just play pair of seven, pair of queen. Mm -hmm. They couldn't. Mm -hmm. Now, otherwise... But it still has to be higher? It still has to be higher. It always has to be higher. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing you can do is what's called a street. And a street, sorry, a straight. I think it's called a straight. In German, it's called a street. But a straight is when you play a minimum of five cards. It has to be five cards of cards that follow each other. So three, four, five, six, seven would be the minimum for a straight. Now, if I play this straight, then everyone else has to play also a straight with five cards. So you have to play something like five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five cards higher than this. But if I play now a six card straight, mm -hmm. then you all have to play also six card straight. Let's say you have a seven card straight in your hand, but someone played a six card straight. You could break the seven card straight and play only six cards, but you're breaking the straight because you could play a seven straight. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone else plays a seven straight and then you can't play a seven straight on top of that anymore. So it's a decision to make. Usually you break it because it's just a straight is so rare anyway, so yeah, that's the straight. Um, there's something called a bomb. You can play a bomb whenever you want, mm -hmm. which means that, let's say, for example, uh, you played a double king, mm -hmm. uh, you passed, I passed, and you passed, but now, if you win this, because it's your turn, everybody passed, then you're going to win the game. So you can quickly say, wait a second, I have a bomb, play the bomb, and then you win everything and you can play. So a bomb is four of the same number. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see, four twos mm -hmm. is a bomb. So let's say you passed and now it's your turn and you pass as well and you would win this. Mm -hmm. But I know that it's, this is your last card, for example. So mm -hmm. I know that you're going to win this. Mm -hmm. So he quickly goes up ah, four twos, bomb. I bomb this before you win. I take this. And now I play something else. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have an ace, mm -hmm. but now he knows, ah, it's double. If I play doubles, then you can't win. So he plays double four, mm -hmm. and then you can't play anymore because mm -hmm. it's doubles. Mm -hmm. So that's why you would play a bomb to stop someone from winning and get them stuck with one, <coughs> with one pattern that mm -hmm. they have to, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that's, um, that's one type of a bomb. Another type of a bomb, is a, a royal, uh, uh, f um, sorry, uh, 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 a f straight a f a f flash or hmm. flash, or flash, I don't remember. But if you have five or more, a street, a, stri a straight, which is also the same color, hmm. so, or same like. In German they call it color, but I think in English it's something else. Suits. Like suits, yeah. So the same suit, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight. And is it a flash or a flash? Flash, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If this is one, two, three, four, five, a minimum for a straight, 
-hmm. and then also the same suit, mm -hmm. then this would also be a bomb. It could also have like a nine as well. It doesn't matter if it's bigger, but it mm -hmm. can't be smaller than five. Mm -hmm. And then you can also play this as a bomb. Mm -hmm. That's all the rules that I can think of regarding how to play the normal cards. There's four special cards, so I can explain them. And then I can explain a few more general rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are the four special cards. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see them in the camera or not? Yeah. So there's the dragon, there's the phoenix, there's the dogs, and there's the um, one. Now, the one is just to tell you that you start. So when you have the one, you start the game. Mm. The dogs is a special card which is really weird and bad for you. So this is the lowest card. It's even lower than the one. You can never play it. You can only play it when you win. So if you win something and you take and then you get to start a new pattern, then you will play the dogs. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it lets the, your partner start instead of you. So it might make sense if you, if, you, if you have it and your partner said they're going to win, then you might help them win, but usually you're just stuck with it. Mm -hmm. That's the dogs. Number one is just you start the game. The phoenix is the joker in a way. So you can play it to help you fill. So let's say someone played double eight. And now it's your turn, you can play double king mm -hmm. with the phoenix. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Now, a special rule for the phoenix is if you play it on a single card, then it's not whatever you want. It's only half a point higher than the card. So you wouldn't play it on an eight because it's eight and a half, it's a joke. A nine can top that. But you would play it on an ace because an ace is the highest card, right? And then if you play ace and a half, that's like a highest thing, right? Mm. But on a king, you might think, hmm, how many aces are left in the game? Maybe mm. I should play it, maybe not. If you play it and someone plays an ace on top of it, you fucked it up, you wasted it. But if there's not enough aces or there's a risk, then maybe you would play it just to hope that no one has higher than a king. Mm. The dragon, is actually higher than the phoenix. So if someone plays an ace and you play a dragon, a uh, phoenix, and I can still play a dragon on top of it. The dragon is a card that you can only play as a single card, and it's the highest single card. So you cannot play it on, on, on doubles or anything else, mm. triples, just on single cards, and it's higher than the phoenix because the phoenix is ace and a half and the dragon is even higher. Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot play the phoenix as part of a bomb. That's something that I forgot mm. to say. So you have to really have all four, col uh, all four cards, numbers, and or the straight, which is the same suit. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the how to win. Mm -hmm. uh, how to win and how to get rid of your cards in general. So how you win because when you win, then you get to get rid of more cards. How to, so, how to, how the game starts is basically, uh, you give out all the cards to everyone. There's a, spe a special rule that I'm gonna explain, but it's not something that you really need to, to know. It's more of a extra to the game. For beginners, it's just confusing. If you play, you, you give six cards to every person at the beginning. So you go like that and give six cards to every person. And then only afterwards do you give eight cards. So, uh, sorry. First you give eight cards and then only afterwards you give six cards. So you get to look at eight cards at the beginning. And then if you think oh my god, my cards are amazing, you can say something like, something which, which means a great tichu, gross tichu. And that basically means that you think you're going to win without even looking at these cards. 
and then you're betting not 100 points, but 200 points. So if you win, you get 100 points. If you say you win and you win, you get 100 points, remember? But if you say you're going to win the Great Tihu, or I think it's called the Grand Tihu, then you would win 200 points instead of 100, but you also lose 200 instead of losing 100. Mm. So usually you don't do this, but if you have amazing cards, maybe you would do it. After you pick up all your cards, the next phase is you give every person in the game one card. So usually you would give your partner something good, like an ace for example, or maybe you would give them the dogs to say, hey listen, use this to help me, I'm probably going to say Tihu. Mm. And you can also give them a bad card if you think you're going to win, but usually you give them a good card. And then you give one partner, to the, one opponent to the left, one opponent to the right, right, left, and that's how, yeah, you all give every person one card and then as soon as you gave three of them already only then you can pick up because otherwise you're mixing up things first mm -hmm. you have to give the cards then you get to pick up the other cards and then the person with the one starts <coughs> another thing is when you play the one these are small rules that are not that important but I'm going to explain them quickly especially for the camera um, if you have the one usually you would play the one because it's to get rid of the lowest card mm -hmm. at the beginning uh, then you have the possibility to tell the next person that's starting in Switzerland you play this way so you would I would tell you what card you have to play on this now it's like I can tell you what to play but because I gave you a card before right I know what you have so usually I would say the card that I gave you mm -hmm. if I forgot that and I just say some other card, and you don't have that card, then you would have to play the card, that, the number that I said. And that's not good, because maybe it would ruin something for you. Right? The idea is that if I give you a four, and now you have four fours, and then I tell you you have to play the four as a single, then it's ruined for you. Mm -hmm. the, the four fours are ruined for you. But um, if I forget what I gave you, and I tell you something, that you might not have, then the next player has to play that and then it might ruin their bomb. So it, maybe it's better to not say what you have to play if I don't know what you have to play. That's that. Then there's also the uh, points. So the points are basically all the tens, all the kings and all the fives in the, games, in the game count as points and also the dragon and the phoenix. The tens and the kings are just ten points each. The fives are five points each, so that's four tens, four kings, that's 80. And then four fives, that's 20, that's 100 points. The dragon is 25 points and the phoenix is minus 25 points, so that cuts out. So every game there's 100 points to win, but it's much, much easier and more common to win because you said, I'm going to win, and then you win. And then you get directly 100 points. You also get 200 points if you win right after your 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 uh, team player won. So if I win and then she wins, then we get 200 points straight away. If I said Tihu and then I win and then she wins, then I get then we get 300 points altogether. If I said Grand Tihu and then I win and then she wins, I get 400 points altogether. And Also, uh, if we lose, then we lose minus 100. And then there's also like a specific rule. So if I win and you lose, I get your cards that you won all the game. I get them. So the winner gets the cards of the loser. And the second place gets the hand cards of the loser. So if the loser still has some cards in their hand, then the second place would get that. It's not that important, it's very little points, but still I'm saying it so that we have all the rules. The dragon, you get 25 points for the dragon, but when you play the dragon, so let's say you play the dragon on, I don't know, two kings, uh, or one king, actually you can't play it on two kings, uh, 10 and a king, that's 20 points, right? And then I play the dragon. Now this here is 10, 20, 45 points already 
but when you play the dragon you have to give it to someone else so you have to give it to your opponent so usually I would give it to the person that I think is losing so I say ah you're gonna lose she already has most of her cards played so I'm gonna give it to you and then I hope that I win and you lose and then I get it back the dragon mm -hmm. but if I give it to you and then you lose then you get the dragon and you get the 25 points so that's an extra Otherwise, there's some specific rule for the dogs. If you play the dogs, which happens quite a lot, at the end of the game, and your partner is no longer playing because they won, then it would go to the next player. So let's say, for example, you two won, and I play the dogs with him, then I would actually get to start straight away again, because it goes to you, and then it goes back to me. So that's, that's that and anything I forgot is really too specific so it doesn't matter yeah let's start all right